Welcome back to the lab. As I continued to design Smog's transmission, I realized we had a major design concern. The number of sprockets included in the transmission, coupled with the ridiculously huge amount of gear reduction necessary to turn Smog's ridiculously huge wheels, would place a tremendous amount of drag on the entire system when the engine was not running. So much drag that it would be nearly impossible to just pedal smog as I had done before. And it might even be so much drag that it would make it impossible to push him up the ramp into his storage trailer. We would need a clutch. I decided to use what's called a dog clutch. This is a very simple system that is simply uh, an in-out style clutch. It's used these days primarily in outboard motors in the lower unit to shift from forward to reverse to neutral. But in our case, uh, it will work just fine shifting both in and out. Now this type of clutch is probably commercially available, but also probably fairly expensive. And I figured that uh, we could just probably machine one ourselves. The parts I'm using are a standard Lovejoy type shaft coupler, a left and a right side, with some significant modification. Looking at the assembly from right to left, we have a shaft collar with a machined shoulder to allow for chain clearance. This shaft collar is fixed to the jaft shaft with a set screw. It prevents the assembly from sliding to the right. Next is a 14 tooth sprocket. That's connected to the chain that drives the main wheels, and it is welded to the right side of the Lovejoy coupler that's going to be the right side of our dog clutch. This side of the dog clutch and the sprocket assembly is free to rotate on the jack shaft. Next we have another shaft collar that's been machined down to fit into the left side of the right Lovejoy coupler. This prevents the right side Lovejoy coupler and sprocket assembly from sliding back and forth onto jack shaft. They are free to spin, but they cannot slide sideways. Then finally we have the left side of the Lovejoy coupler. That's going to be the left side of our dog clutch, and the part that engages or disengages the teeth on the right side. You can see that a large slot has been machined into this side of the Lovejoy coupler, and that's going to accept our shift fork. The side of the Lovejoy coupler is attached to the jack shaft with a shaft key, and therefore it is fixed to the jack shaft, but again, it can slide sideways. The tool I'm using here is just your standard 7x12 Chinese mini lathe. This one came from Harbor Freight. Everyone says you can't do slotting work on a mini lathe and that the cutoff tool will simply chatter and will probably break. But I'm here to prove that you actually can do it. It just takes a very long time. Total machining time on these two parts was approximately eight and a half hours.
Well, that about does it for the fabrication work. In the next episode, we'll assemble all of the parts, and we'll take Smog out for a test ride. Thanks for watching.